Yes, welcome back. What's everyone saying, Dr. Apple? Okay, so look at that. Look at that, will you? As you can see, look. It's had a lovely haircut, a nice, clean shave, and I've got to say, he's looking sharp. If I don't mind saying so myself. 36? <laughs> More like 26 now, isn't it? I've still got it. All right, serious time now. Um... Now, as everybody knows, I was looking to do a charity boxing event, yeah, um, for the end of next month. Well, it was just a match, basically. A match for me to show me old skills, show that I ain't passed it, show that I haven't gone too rusty. You know, after what's been happening, I got caught the other day, you know, by a heavyweight. It was, it was 17 and a half stone, you know. He wasn't that big, but he was stocky, like a, like a panzer tank, you know. Um... And I wanted, I wanted to do it for a charity that's close to my heart, you know, and I feel it's a well-deserving charity. It's Age UK, and I know they've been doing great things, helping Brian Cockerell at the moment, you know, with his, um, how can we put it, disabilities that he has at the um, at this current time. Um, it's also done wonderful things for PP. My old mate PP. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> All right, PP. <laughs> He won't be watching, don't worry. All right, um, yeah, and unfortunately, uh, this is where I have a bit of bad news. Um, Paul Venice, his name was getting floated around a bit, and um, unfortunately, I like Paul too much. He's too likable. I just wouldn't be able to, you know, hurt him. Really, like, you know, get that stinging in the ear, you know, and when I goes, I go. So, look, look at these, mate. Look at these. Just got back from the gym. These ain't to stop me picking my nose, you know. And this, look at that. They ain't to stop me uh, biting my tongue. Oh no. Um, yeah, so Paul Venice. Now, it's too likable, far too likable. I could not. I just don't have the anger for Paul. I've got to have the, you know. So I thought of Danny Lad. Danny Lad, but we've had to rule him out. For unfortunately, he has to defend his belt for the BKFC, and it's not worth. If I end up losing my fucking temper or something like that, and going nuts, sometimes I go ballistic in the ring. I go absolutely ballistic. I go bananas, and I just don't. You know, someone just wakes up on the canvas after for after about a few days. You know, um, so Danny Lad, no, he's defending that. Um, that belt and he, uh, uh, the BKFC. Um, best of luck to him with that. I think he'll need it. <laughs> and then there was Matt Leg. Matt Leg, my dear old friend, Matt Leg. And I thought, hmm, Matt Leg, serious contender there. Been in with um, Anthony Joshua. Can definitely spar. Can definitely fight. And I thought, and then the same couple of people that were floating around the name Matthew Leg. Were asking me, would I take a dive? Would I take a dive for Mr. Leg? And you know what? That is against my morals to take a dive for anybody. Anybody. So that's that's kind of blown up, as uh, should we say. Blown up in my face. So we have to rule out Venice for being too nice, too likable. We have to rule out a Christie. Because he's got his defeat coming in the BKFC. I'm sorry, he's got his defence coming in the BKFC. And we've had to rule out Matthew Legg. Um, because if a few people are trying to, you know, convince the doctor to take a dive. And I don't think that would be fair. Not for my unblemished record. Um, so, I don't know if there's any big names out there. I really don't. You know, I only want a big, big name. You know, I want a big name. Um... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Joshua's fighting um, D -D 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 Dillian White, so I've ruled them two out. And um, Fury's got his fight, I think, in October with that. Oh, that's, how daft is that? How daft is that? You know, why aren't these boxers fighting the people we want to see them fight? You know, that Uzek fighting, is it Daniel Dubois, Dubois or whatever he's bloody called? You know, this. There's some, they're interesting fights, but they're not, you know, they're worth purchasing, but they're nothing to lose any sleep over. Um, so yeah, Age UK, I'm hoping to raise some money for this well-deserved charity. Like I said, it's very close to my heart. Um, it's been doing marvellous things with Brian Cockerell, learning him how to walk again, 
how to talk properly, um, breathing techniques, and um, it's also helped my dear old pal uh, PP, you know. Oh, what? Are you? He's gonna jump on exposure. <laughs> fucking goof. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, that's it. Um, tomorrow, I'm off to Sunderland. Um, near near one of the little mining towns in Sunderland, and um, it's gonna be business. It's gonna be um business. But I might take days because remember what happened last time. You know, we had to dive out the window, and you know. About eight guys got hurt, you know, so I'm hoping that this one is a bit more professional and um, we ain't, you know, there again talking to the same old Charlies, you know, who just want to try and fleece us because we're London boys, you know. I mean, we don't want drama. We're not animals. It's not like we're going to see them and rush them. But if they want drama, we're going to bring them drama like only we can bring them. Whew. I wonder if Robert's coming. <laughs> then it'll kick off, trust me. You know Smithy, Smithy, Smithy to his friends. Anyway, everybody, have a good evening, and I'll get thinking about big names. If anyone's got any big names, suggestions for me, uh, leave it in the comments. Realistic suggestions, not bleeding faceless trolls and, you know, and people that have never shown their face, like big YouTubers or people that are well-known professional Mixed martial artists, boxers, you know, um, high school wrestlers, you know, like um, Jim Doofus. Remember Jim Doofus? He was a high school wrestler, footballer, and track, but knew nothing. Laters.